guys, so today I'm going to actually try and show you some things that I did but I did mess up on and one of them I'm going to try and fix and then one of them I don't think I will be able to fix. So the first one is this top and from the front it looks okay and I'll put a pic- I'll like show it on the doll at some point. So from the front it looks like okay but from the back you see that this side is inside out. And the reason for that is, so what I did well first was I cut out the front piece, and um, these were just, both of these projects were just experiment pieces, so basically I measured how far across and then how far down I wanted it to be, and then I measured the straps and then half, and then the middle between where I had the straps had a line and I just made it kind of a curve shape. So I cut it out, and then this was my shape, and then I just went all around it and hemmed it. Uh, yeah. So then I just decided I needed to make the back pieces. And when I first drew them, I basically drew, I folded this in half. I folded this in half, and I drew this, like, do around everything. Um, but... But I don't remember if I made it any bigger or not, but then I realized I didn't need it to have a low neckline, so I just, um, drew it across, like, in a straight line, like that. But, what I end, what, my mistake was that I cut them the same direction, so I put it down, I cut one like this, and then I cut another one right next to it the same way, and I should have flipped it over, because what ended up happening was that if you look at it like this, they were both facing, well, they were both facing the same direction. So this is the good side on this one, and this is the good side on the other one, but they're uh, on the opposite side of things. So I had to sew this one on backwards because I only had enough cloth to make this many pieces. I didn't have any more. And then when I sewed it on, I forgot how making clothes works so i the first time i sewed it on i just sewed it on like sewed on like this and then i was like wait i um, don't what are armholes so i had to seam rip the whole thing sew it on the top and then hope i left enough room for an armhole and sew it down here and then I realized how to do it and I did that over here as well and I hemmed both of these pieces on all the sides except for the one that was going to connect but I actually recommend hemming those sides too and because then I had to go back and hem the sleeve lining yeah. and then I put on um, the hook and eye clips on the back and when it's on the doll from the front it doesn't look too bad from the back it's not great not great um but it stays on fairly well so that's the first piece this other dress is currently on the doll and there maybe you can see that better so it's a bit short but i was going to add ruffles to the bottom once i'd finished uh you know making it so um i'll probably have to show you how i did it afterwards because i'm afraid i won't be able to get it back on once i take it off um, but basically I just traced the outline of the doll because I just wanted to see what would happen if I did that. And then I cut out two pieces, one wider than the other, and, uh, cut it down the middle once I put it on her. Uh, but as you can see, that didn't work very well, so I, and, because I was going to cut it down the middle and then just close it in the back, but it was way too small because I didn't take into the fact that, like, it's it's not just a flat it, it has like mass to it so then i cut out another piece that was like well i don't know i didn't really measure but it was like four and then six and eight inches long and i sewed that in and so now the dress can be pulled up but there was no way to get the sleeves in so i had to cut the sleeves and now i'm going to attempt to figure out how to because like right now the sleeves come like this but then the other side doesn't connect well and they just they're 
kind of weird, which is sad because the body of the dress looks great. But I don't know how to make it stay up without sleeves. So, um, but I'm afraid if I take it off, I won't be able to get back on again. So I'm going to try and do something with the sleeves. Maybe lengthen them and then put snaps on them and then, you know, hem everything. And then you'll see when it's done. Yeah. Ugh. I know the, the lighting over here is not very good, but I just finished sewing this dress. It's inside out right now, but, um, it took me pretty much, like, a really long time, like, multiple days. Now, I wasn't constantly sewing for all of those days, but it's inside out right now, and there was one part of the bottom that I didn't cut out with the, um, salvage on the end. If you cut it out with a salvage on the end, you don't have to worry about it fraying, so I only hemmed this part. And then I hemmed around the top of it, and on one side I just pretended like that that down bit wasn't there and that it just casually went around, um, because it needed to be like that, I think. And then I hemmed the straps, and it's yellow so it's hard to see, but I hemmed the straps and I, I didn't, I don't remember if I told you, but I did add straps to make it a tie around the neck dress because I think that will work better and I didn't know where snaps were and I had these pieces of fabric just lying around so right side out it looks like this and uh yes I know there's little threads all over it but you know can't really do much about that so let's go and try to put it on the doll so um there you go from the front it actually looks pretty good it's a bit short, but you know, that's fine. It's not too, too bad. And I think this works out really well, but in the back, when I was putting it on her, that ripped. So guess that either it's gonna have to go over her head or it can't actually go on her. But I tried and I'm very annoyed with it. So I'm kind of done and I'm just gonna leave it like this because a lot of things I've tried to do today have not worked. I I realized that I had to re-edit a bunch of videos that haven't gone up yet, so nobody's seen them yet. But I found out that I had to re-edit them to my parents' high standards of whatever. And so the first one, I didn't have that much editing to do, so I got the editing done, and then I was waiting for it to upload. And then it uploaded, and it was messed up somehow, because, like, right before I clicked upload, it had moved some things, like to make it like 20 minutes longer when it was completely unnecessary and I didn't tell it to do that. So I had to just now start over and like this video, a 20 minute video takes like four hours to upload or something. So it took like a really, really, really long time. And now I'm annoyed because I've been like, these are videos I'd worked on a lot already and now I have to like redo them all. So. <sighs> I'm very annoyed. So I'm going to leave the dress the way it is because I guess it just wasn't meant to work. Um, now I'm going to go show you the shirt that also didn't work very well and that I'm not going to even try to do too much with. Um, oh right, and there's this top on which actually doesn't look super bad from the front. From the front it looks like a pretty good top just that the sleeve didn't want to go on all the way on one side so it's a tiny bit off the shoulder-ish. And then from the back, you can see how I messed up. But if you want to pretend that that's a style and it's cool, I'm happy to go with that. This this thing that I, this the shirt I did basically all on machine except for the, um, for the buttons, the, not the buttons, these hook and eye clips, except for the hook and eye clips. But um, the yellow dress, the only thing that I did on the machine was sewing the sides together and the straps together on top. But that was the first design, and they cut the straps apart. So really, I only just sewed the sides together. The bottom, that part you saw, I hemmed by hand, and the everything, like the straps, the neckline, and the back, I also did by hand. So this is what happens when you try, but you don't actually get there. Uh, I think the reason it didn't work, obviously, is A, I wasn't using a pattern. I wasn't really planning ahead. Um, and I was just sort of challenging myself to, like, start something in a way that was kind of hard and then see if I could make it turn out better. Or, like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people say I like to make things harder for myself than they really have to be, and I, that's probably very true. I do, actually, a lot. 
And I'd actually really like to make myself a Lolita dress at some point, but it's probably going to end up making one for this doll first. <sighs> but yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and don't do what I did or show me what you did that was so much better than what I did. Uh, and have a great day. I will see you guys all next time. Bye!